Hi, my name is John and today I'll be going through the different types of selective schools here in New South Wales and how that can influence your decision and what school you should apply for. Let's get into it. A selective high school is a public high school which has specific academic requirements in order to get in. Every year, thousands of students in the beginning of year six do an exam in the hopes of getting into one of these schools because they want the opportunity to be accelerated and learn things at a faster rate compared to non-selective high schools. It is critical to know the types of selective high schools that are on offer and how they differentiate from each other in order for you to make the most informed decision to know what school for you to apply for. The first one I would like to discuss is a fully selective high school. There are currently 22 fully selective high schools here in New South Wales where each class is doing uh, subjects and content material that is slightly more ahead and progress faster compared to non-selective high schools. They are fully selective in the sense that they are all boys, or girls, co-ed high schools. The second type of selective high school is a partially selective high school and there are currently 24 partially selective high schools here in New South Wales. This means that a portion of the year group or a couple of classes out of the entire grade is selective while the other portion is non-selective. This is a great alternative, especially if you didn't get a entry level mark that was high enough to get into a fully selective high school because it's, um, it still accelerates you to a certain degree. On the flip side of things, it's also beneficial if you don't make it into any selective school at all to join a partially selective high school, even on the non-selective side, just because in year 12, you can actually benefit from being in the same grade and school with your selective counterparts because a portion of your year 12 HSC mark is based on your peers. So if your peers are performing better because of your selective counterparts, it will actually help you as well. This is due to scaling, which is an entirely different topic and quite hard to get your head around. I will likely do another video on this if you guys are interested on this, especially on the topic of uh, year 11 and 12. However, this uh, discussion is mainly for selective high school. The third type is an agricultural selective high school. There are currently four agricultural high schools. This includes Farrow Memorial, Yanko, Hellstone, and James Roos Agricultural High School. This means that agriculture or farming is a key component in something you have to learn in year seven to 10, and it's an integral subject that you have to do. Although the school that I attended in year 11 and 12, Kirwin High School had a farming component, where you have to look after some farm animals as well as help uh, change the soil and till the land a little bit. Schools that are actually agricultural have a much stronger emphasis where they might have cows and sheep and you might have to uh, really get into the nitty gritty of how to help cultivate the land um, and look after these animals in the long run. The fourth type of selective high school is a virtual selective high school. There's currently only one selective high school which really accommodates and caters towards those who live in remote and rural communities and areas here in New South Wales. This is Aurora College where they actually have uh, online classes for the subjects of English, Math and Science where you still attend your local high school but for those subjects you go on Zoom and Google Classroom to still get accelerated for the selective uh, component. This is beneficial especially for students who live in rural communities such as Bathurst where they can still uh, participate and be accelerated in these key STEM subjects while still not having to leave their family and homes as well as the local communities which is quite challenging especially when uh, you're just heading into year 7. I will include a link about Aurora College as well as all the other uh, selective high school information and the different types of it in the description below as well. The next type of selective high school is based on conservatorium. So there's only one high school that is like that, which is the conservatorium Sydney High School. Applicants will need to complete the selective high school exam just like any other application. However, they have to do another application on top of that if they want to be part of the conservatorium. So conservatorium is basically a fancy word for music and typically all students have to know uh, music in order to be involved and be a part of the school. As it counts towards the number of applications that you can actually make, so you can only apply for three different selective high schools, 
please don't waste uh, one of your options if you don't actually play an instrument as chances are you won't actually make it in and it'll just be a waste of time. If music is something you are passionate about and you still want to be accelerated uh, in English, math and all the other different subjects as well and you would like to pursue this in later life, I would encourage you to go for it. The last type of high school is a boarding selective high school. This means that they help accommodate border students, so especially for students that live quite far and rural and don't want to attend a rural college for whatever reason, such as um, you know they want to attend a different high school or they just actually want that in-person experience just because there is sometimes a mismatch if it's purely online classes then these options uh, being part of a uh, boarding high school can be a great alternative here. These schools include Helston, Farrah and Yanko High School. So if you're definitely interested in that, have a look at them in the bio below. Also, another thing to take into consideration is that some schools can be across different sections and different types. For instance, for James Roos Agricultural High School, they are a fully selective high school as well as a agricultural high school, which is across two types and two sections. So take this into consideration, they're not distinct, however, they can kind of merge into one another as well. I think that's about everything. If you had any other questions, check out bigsacademy.com and I'd love to help you out. Otherwise, write it down in the comments and I'll help you guys out. Thank you and I'll see you next time.